it's easy to achieve a full glam look, but it is often a fine line that you can cross to make it look cakey. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to achieve an absolutely stunning full glam look without your face looking cakey. So if you're ready, let's begin. I'm starting with skincare and I'm going to be applying the Tatcha Serum Stick to enhance my complexion. This will help to even out your skin if you've used it on a regular basis and provides a good base for anything else that you plan to apply over this. Over this, I'm going to apply another layer to smooth out my skin and I'm going to be using a pore filling primer. Today, I'm going to be using the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. This is going to fill in your pores and your fine lines and make your skin extra smooth before you apply foundation over it. This cushiony gel primer also boosts and extends your makeup wear. The next step before applying foundation is to even out the skin tone using a color corrector. I'm going to be using the peach corrector from the NYX color correcting palette. When you want to do that flawless full coverage makeup, especially on brides, without the makeup looking ashy over your eyes, uneven skin tone make sure to cancel out the blue and purple undertones using a color corrector color corrector is nothing but a concealer which has pigment to cancel out the uneven undertones to neutralize your skin tone a peach corrector cancels out the blue and purple undertones the blue purple undertones are usually found under your dark circles and patches I like to apply it with a brush and quickly blend out just the edges so when I'm applying anything else over it, it flows beautifully into the other products. I'm going to let this completely dry. It should take a couple minutes and it should look something like this before I apply foundation over this so that they don't mix together. For foundation, I'm going to be using one of my absolute favorites. This is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. And I'm using the shade 300, which is medium neutral. I'm going to first dot it on my face. And rather than tugging or pulling over the foundation, I'm going to press it in. That way it settles over your color corrector and does not mix in with the color corrector. Sometimes when you tug or pull over the foundation, it can pull the products from underneath and mix it with the foundation. And if you mix it with the color corrector, it can start looking peach or orange. And obviously, we want to avoid that. By pressing it in like this, you will have the advantage of full coverage and the products don't mix. I never apply foundation underneath my eyes because I'm going to be using concealer there. So we don't want to layer too much. That's when it starts looking cakey. For concealer, I'm going to be using my favorite Milani in the shade 145 and mostly focusing this where I have my dark patches and dark circles like around my mouth and underneath my eyes. I'm going to let it sit just for a couple minutes till it's a little bit dry and tacky before I blend it out with a dry sponge. I like to use a dry sponge to blend out my concealer because it doesn't absorb much product and it gives more coverage, especially when the concealer is a little bit dry and tacky. When you use a damp sponge, sometimes it's more porous and it can absorb the product, resulting in less coverage. As we're going for full glam today, I'm going to be highlighting the high planes of my face with a lighter shade of concealer. Highlighting the high planes helps to bring those features forward and that provides a nice dimension to the face. And again, I'm going to be using the Milani concealer. This is in the shade 135. Like always, I use the applicator in the concealer to apply it on the high planes. And then with a dry sponge, I'm going to blend everything out. To add some warmth, I'm going to be using a cream bronzer. This is from Vestman Atelier and this is in the shade Truffle. And to add the bronzer, I'm going to be doing quite the opposite of highlighting my face with a concealer. I'm going to be using it in the hollows of my cheekbones, in my jawline, in the circumference of my face and then to sculpt my nose. To set this makeup, I'm going to be using a translucent powder from Too Faced and this is also going to prevent any creasing because the makeup won't move when you set it. I'm going to first lightly set underneath my eyes before I use a dry sponge to bake in my high planes. Baking is a technique when you apply the powder over your concealer and let it sit there for a few minutes. The warmth in your body will bake the concealer with the powder to brighten up the high planes. And while this is baking, I'm going to finish up my brows and my eye makeup. 
For brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. This is a micro tip brow pencil. If you know me and if you've followed me for a while, you know that I absolutely love those fine tip brow pencils, which allow us to draw those natural strokes that look like hair. I'm going to be using it mostly to fill in the sparse areas in my brow. And I'm going to be adding just a few strokes right in the inner part of my brows i feel that vibe today i did that for valentine's day and everybody loved it so i wanted to give it a shot and i want you to tell me how it looks and then using some concealer i'm going to clean up underneath my brows and i'm going to also use it on my eyes as a base for the eyeshadows you can see what a big difference that makes by evening out that skin tone under the brows for eyeshadows i'm going to be using the lh cosmetics reload palette these palettes from lh cosmetics are super pigmented i'm going to start with the shade flow and apply it all over my lid with a flat shading brush and then with a smudging brush i'm also going to smoke it out in my lower lash line we are going to be creating a stunning smoky eye today dipping into offline to deepen the outer corner both in my upper and lower lash lines i'm going to first use it in the outer corner of my lid with a blending brush smoking some of that eyeshadow in the outer crease as well with the residue that's left on the brush and then with a small smudging brush i'm going to use it in my lower lash line just in the outer corner Next, I'm going to be using the tiniest amount of this shade called Raspberry and I'm going to use it in the crease just to give that pop of color. Next, I'm going to be using a shimmer. This is called Reset. I'm going to apply it right to the center of the lid and blend out the edges. When it's full glam like this, you obviously want your eyeliner to be intact. So I'm going to be using a waterproof eye pencil today. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Pencil in Graphite, which is black. I'm going to be lining my waterline and then using the Stilla Matte Eyeliner, I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my lash line. To make the smoky and to prevent it from moving, I'm going to lightly set it with a black eyeshadow and very lightly smoke it out with an angled brush. And then I'm going be doing the same in my lower lash line as well to finish up i'm going to first curl my lashes before i apply mascara this is the smashbox super fan mascara a new one from smashbox and i'm loving it so far and for lashes i'm going to be using one of my all-time favorites this is the black label lashes in brazen and i'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara to my lower lashes I'm using some highlighter to highlight my brow bones and inner corner. I'm using my collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics, the Flash Highlighter. And that completes this stunning eye makeup. Before I finish the rest of the face, I'm going to dust off that excess powder that I'd used to bake my face. And as you can see, it's brightened up the high planes. For blush, I'm going to be using Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in Pink Me Up. And before I use my lipstick, I'm going to line my lips with a neutral brow pencil. This is from Koki Cosmetics. You can use any fine tip brow pencil. And I like to use a brow pencil because it doesn't bleed in the edges. When I use a lip liner, especially if you have mature skin, it's going to bleed in the outer edges. For lipstick, I'm going to be using Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in Empress. I'm just going to apply it to the center of my lips. I feel like I needed a little bit of gloss, so I'm going to be using the Icy Lip Gloss by Huda Beauty. Last but not least, I'm going to be using a setting spray to lock this makeup. Make sure to always use a setting spray. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. You can use any setting spray you want that's going to lock your makeup. It's not going to make it move, especially when you have full glam. And it's also going to melt all that excess product that's sitting on the outer surface of your skin. It's going to melt it and give it more of a skin-like finish. And here's the completed look, full coverage, full glam, and super classy. If you plan to recreate, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed in the description box below, along with all the products that I used today. You can also click on the view products link embedded within this video on the left bottom corner. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new here. I love you guys so much, and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys.